My name is Cindy, I'm a public health nurse. I'm joined today by Mathieu and baby cool. Jacob, who are going to help us demonstrate how to properly do a baby bath. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have everything you need. You never want to leave your baby alone, even for a second in the bath. In fact, you should always have your hand on the baby. Soap or no soap, new babies are slippery. First and foremost, you want a towel, usually a few washcloths, one for the face, one for the body. Soap and lotion, a couple of diapers, and then clothes for afterwards. Baby does not need to be bathed every day. They usually recommend every two to three days or as needed. There is not a hard and fast rule. But you don't have to bathe the baby every day. The skin can dry out if you bath them too much. Baths should be given in an area that's um, comfortable, warm enough, usually 22 to 27 degrees the room should be. Somewhere safe that you can access your water and have a nice flat surface to do it. And yep. how much do should we put in, in this tub? But about two inches, these baby baths. You want it so that when the baby is in, they're, they're wet up to about their belly button. Bathing your baby should be an enjoyable and relaxing time for you. You might feel uncomfortable when you're first bathing your baby, but you will get more comfortable. As, as you will with diapering, you're going to do this very often. Babies will get to enjoy this as time goes by. So you're going to be filling this water, Mathieu, and then checking it with your wrist. A skin that's a little more sensitive. More right? sensitive, yeah. The skin on our hands is thicker. It's used to our hot bath and our hot dishwater. So you want to make sure to check with a sensitive part. So try checking with that part of this your part? arm. Yeah. Yep. And how does that feel? A little cool. A little cool. So you want it to feel almost like nothing. Okay. Not too hot, not too cold. So I could add a bit more than Yeah, you could add a bit more and that would be fine. Now the tub is ready, let's begin. Firstly, undress your baby, leaving the diaper on. Before putting your baby into the water, wrap your baby in a clean towel with their head exposed. Hold your baby in the football position, under your arm with their head and neck well supported in your hand. Always support your baby's head and neck. Begin washing the face. Do not use soap. Start at the eyes and wipe from inside to outside using a different part of the cloth for each eye. Continue with baby's face, nose, and ears. Never stick anything inside your baby's ears, like cotton tip swabs or Q-tips. To wash the hair, stand over the bathtub, use the cloth to wet your baby's hair, and add a small amount of mild soap. Lather and rinse well. Now unwrap your baby and remove the diaper. Slowly lower your baby into the bathtub bum first, always supporting the head and neck. Wash your baby's body from cleanest to dirtiest, paying special attention to creases and folds. Tub bathing is the preferred way to bath your baby, even if the cord stump has not fallen off. Just pat it dry after the bath. Babies tend to cry less, are calmer, and lose less heat during a tub bath compared to a sponge bath. The umbilical cord stump should fall off within one week to three weeks. Until then, you should keep it clean and dry. Water is all you need to clean it. Do not pull on the stump, even when it starts to come off. It will fall off on its own. Bath time is also a good time to look at the baby's body to see if there are any changes, such as rashes, dry skin, or redness. Clean the genitals last, going from front to back. For a boy, keep the penis clean by gently washing the area during his bath. Do not try to pull back the foreskin. Usually, it is not fully retractable until a boy is three to five years old or even until after puberty. Never force it. If a baby's penis has been recently circumcised, keep the area as clean as possible. Gently wash with mild soap and water and be sure to clean away any bits of stool. If there is a bandage, once it falls off, it is to be left off. Always follow instructions provided by the physician who performed the procedure. After drying, quickly cover your baby. This will prevent your baby from getting a chill. Lotions may be used if your baby has very dry skin. The lotion should be free of perfumes, dyes, and preservatives. Your baby's skin has a special pH to help protect him or her. Therefore, you do not have to apply lotion, but some families like to use natural oil like coconut oil or olive oil. He only cried a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Cried a little bit. Being prepared it yeah. really helps. So I feel a lot more comfortable using Good. the bathtub with some of the techniques. Yeah. So if you have any other questions about caring for your baby, please look at these other local resources. Thanks very much. Thank you.